Okay, hi. Just going to take a section out of this corner to get it made up to replace the sections are missing. Okay, I've just soaked that down. Found the join there on it. I'll let that soak just a little bit. Okay, we're just loosening off a bit. Starting to just sort of get a little bit loose up there. I'll keep edging it, we don't want to break it. take all the paint work off it, clean the backing up and take it down to the moulding works. Keep it going. Okay. And we've got this one off oh yeah, before today. That one goes under there. So I've got to clean this one up too. Clean the backing off and take it down to get moulded. And uh, this, this will be run freehand, this little moulding here. And then we'll be in business. Okay, thanks. Well, that's okay. A fair bit of work still. Here to go. 
Okay, we found a join here on it where it was originally molded. Down there, so I'm just gonna try and loosen it off at the top and the bottom of it too. There you go, mate. Just hold that. Water there. Hi, yeah. Hi. Just take that off. Hi. Okay, we just got to take this section down here. I've loosened it off and it's just going to come down. Yeah. Crisscross the back. Couple bit stick. All right. Next thing to do, clean them up and drop them off at the moulding rooms. Okay, so the next step is to give them a clean up. Just needs a fair bit of water. Clean all the old calcium mine off it. Get the sharpness back into the original mould. It comes off quite easily the calcium mine. Lucky for a calcimite paint, we can save a lot of the old moulds. That's kind of starting to come off quite well there. A lot more details there. Once you get all the calcimite off. And get, use a small tool too to help get the highlights back and get the detail. Most of it's going to come off with a brush. Check the back. The back on this one's clean. Put all crosses on the back there. This is in the days before corners adhesive. This one here never looks as if it had much acrylic on it, a little bit of green there. Looks like it's all been just calcimine. How long it's been painted. House is probably late 1880s. Well, John Beswick, a famous architect in Melbourne. Quite luckily, I haven't had acrylic, so it takes a bit more work getting the acrylic off. Beautiful patterns, though. Clean the back 
ครับมาแตกเสร็จMore water soaks into the plaster, easier all comes off. Might have had a. Oh no, it's just a greener, a green coloured calcimine paint that's there. Just get back to the plaster and it'll be right for moulding then. Okay, I'll keep it keep it going at that and come back a little bit later. I'm scraping it off of the back here. As it gets wet the plaster it's you can scrape it off. When it's dry it's quite hard though. Had additives years ago to put in to stick these up. Whether it was size or silicate, worked quite well. Down through the layers here. That's your original plaster here. So we've got some white paint and a bit of green in there. Got to get out. And just for it takes time. You can use a knife, but don't scrape too hard with it. To loosen it up. Here, get a scraper. Just 
This takes time. You've got to be careful not to scrape too hard or you make marks on the original plaster there. Green on top, ochre underneath. Then it's back to the plaster then. There's another piece here, I've just used a knife to get this lump of um, glue on I've used to stick it up on the corners. Uh, clean the back up there a bit. Uh, taking about 12 hours to do these four pieces. Uh, come up very nice, you can see the original colours. The yellow and the green. So I'm going to drop these back to, down to the moulding department. Uh, Joe Dunstan's. Uh, there's the other pieces there, They're ready to go. All come up quite pretty good. Uh, very nice mouldings. The backing off comes up off quite easy. It's been had water on it for about 12 hours now. This loosened it right up. Um, best not to try and force it. The cleaning. You can, they, can, they can break if you force them too much. There's no reinforcement in these. Yeah, okay. Just filling a few little gaps in in this mould before it goes down to the moulding works. Any blow holes or this was put on separate when I used gelatine this section here. So I'm just gonna clean up in here a little bit. Blow a hole there. I'll just use a little bit of a wet sort of art brush to smooth it off. Otherwise the rubber will get little sort of pimples on it. Got to get it as good as possible possible before it's molded before we before silicon rubber is used to make a mold from it quite expensive the silicon rubber too There's a big, big blowhole 
Okay. There's an old stick there that's been put in for reinforcement for this flower. So I see the end of it in there. Best to use timber for reinforcement. Otherwise, if you use a pin or a nail, it can rust, and as it rusts, it expands and blows the mould apart. Okay, so I'll keep it that and get ready to take it down to the moulding.